Time to spend some time in the man cave. So our project for today is this lawnmower. This is the part I'm replacing right here. It's the part that holds the, the blades in place underneath there. This one broke. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but I already removed the bolts here, but that bolt is still attached. It shouldn't move like this. It broke. So this goes under there like that, right? And it actually broke through right here. It broke right off. So, went on the handy Amazon, got me two new ones. I'm gonna replace them both today. And it'll be like having a brand new mower again. All I gotta do is sharpen the blades. Got some company with us in the man cave today. How you guys doing? Doing fantastic, man. I love the man cave. So cool, man. So cool. So how are you guys doing today? You enjoying your weekend? I hope so. Once I get this lawnmower finished, I got the whole yard to mow yet. And then I've still got to fix some of the fascia outside the garage here. You can see here this one piece fell off in a windstorm about a week ago. It's laying down there. I've got to fix it. Screw it back on there. Then we got to get to mowing everything. It looks like it rained overnight again. I guess I'll leave that open. No reason to lock myself in here. It's early. It's uh, about 6 in the morning. I got up at 5.30. I want to get some stuff done around the house today. Namely this mower. Because Britt would like to go to our uh, Summer in the City Fair tonight. And I'd actually like to go hang out there for a little bit too. You know it's like the, the county fair. Comes to your county every year in the States. We have the same thing up here in Canada. Uh, it's a fair that comes to Steinbeck. Uh, and we call it Summer in the City. So if possible I'd like to have this thing fixed and the whole yard mowed and maybe a few vlogs edited even by the time she gets off work. She starts work I think at like 11 so she won't be up for a little while yet. That's why I just got out of the house. I wanted to let her sleep. She needs her rest before work and I sort of like being in my man cave all by myself. Something else that I purchased just recently off Amazon are these LED marker light signal light bulbs. They're for the pickup here. They're gonna be much brighter and much easier to see. So I got these two LED bulbs and I also got the, uh, what you call these things, the load? What do you call these things again? I'm having a brain for it. You know, the things that you have to put on LED lights so that, because when you put an LED light into your vehicle here and your vehicle is used to having halogen lights in there, the halogen light takes a lot more power, draws a lot more power from the battery than an LED light would, right? So when you put an LED light in there, even though it's lighting up and it's lighting up brighter than the old bulb, the truck thinks that there's no bulb in there because it's drawing such a small current because these use so much less power, right? So it fools the truck into thinking that there's no bulb in there even. So what you gotta do is you gotta put these load resistor, I think that's what it's called, a load resistor. And it just tunes the power just right so that it lights up these bulbs, but it also lets the truck know that, hey, it's okay, we don't have a burnt out signal, everything's all good, just got a new fancy bulb. It's all good. Otherwise, you'll have like error codes coming up on your truck. I don't know, if you have an older vehicle, you would have like a fast signal, go like like really fast to let you know that one of your lights is burnt out. Whether it's mechanical or electronical, your truck or your vehicle will let you know that you have a burnt out light. That's why when you put an LED light in there, you just wanna remind it, nah, it's all good. There's a light there. What did I tell you? What did I tell you last week? I'm a man, I can fix my own more. Check that out. Just gotta put the pulley back on there. Put the pulley right here. Put that on there and we're good to go. Now I don't need to replace the other side, but since I got two in this package deal, I may as well replace them both at once, because that one's probably pretty old. I mean, look at this thing. This looks practically a relic. May as well replace the parts that we have, right? I don't know if this is supposed to be so close like this, though. I'm gonna have to look into that, because the, the pulley goes on here, right? Once I take that bolt off. And this holds the belt from popping off the pulley. But as you can see here, it's been touching. But that's also because this was broken before and leaning towards it. So 
I'll just have to make sure that that is all A-OK -okay before I put everything back together under there so I don't have to pull it out again and fix it again. Finished. Well, I still got to reattach the mower, but check this out. Boom. Fixed. Looking good. Finally, get a nice even cut on our lawn again. That's awesome. I'm glad I was able to fix that. These parts were uh, $44 American online on Amazon. I was online looking at replacement mowers, like the whole riding mower, the whole thing, the whole shebang. I can get a decent one that is the same as this for about $3,000. I saved about $2,960 by just fixing it myself. The next tractor I'm gonna buy is gonna be a subcompact uh, tractor anyways, John Deere. I think I'm probably gonna go with the, the 1028, I think it is. I really wanna get like a 2035 or 2038, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know if I got the numbers right. I went to go look at them, but uh, there's the 2000 series and the 1000 series. 1000 series will probably do everything I need it to do. Barely. But the 2000 series, Oh, there's no limit to the fun I can have on this property with that thing. You know, that's the one I want. We'll see. We'll see next summer, hopefully. Hopefully, I want to pay off some other debt first. Uh, we should be able to pay that all off by fall time. Hey, we can maybe even get the tractor in winter to clear the snow. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how things go. All done. Fixed her up. All before the wife even woke up. Right on. Okay, so next project, since we can't start mowing until she's up anyway, because you, know, you don't want to wake her up. <laughs> uh, I gotta fix this thing. Ugh. This weed eater, you see the pull cords down there? It ripped out of there. So I gotta open this thing up and reattach the pull star so we can get this thing going and do some weed eating. And look at me. Fixing your equipment and taking names. That's not how that saying goes. Hey, I'm not even wearing a hat. Look at me. I'm wearing a Canadian muscle shirt. Some people call these wife beaters. I don't like the sound of that. Proud to be Canadian. I have like five shirt sets all about proud to be American. I'm not actually American. I'm Canadian. But uh, I figured I'd pick one up today at Walmart. Seven dollars. Right? Saved myself $2,960, whatever I said, so I figured, hey, I deserve a shirt. Went to Walmart, got myself a shirt. That's not why. But... Just put this vlog together. Sorry, Diesel. Oh, sorry, buddy. Did I run you over with my chair? I get kind of excited sometimes. I'm vlogging. Watch out. You never know what'll happen when I start vlogging. I get excited. Just finished uh, editing that vlog, and I, I realized the whole vlog was about me fixing the lawnmower. Uh, later on that evening, Britt and I went to Summer in the City, and we got a little bit of footage there, but the majority of the time that we spent there was watching uh, these dance-offs. It was really cool. We had these professional break dancers come in from all over Canada and the United States and do a dance-off, and I filmed a whole bunch of it. The only problem is... When I film it, the music gives me a copyright strike here on YouTube. So I can't even post it on YouTube here for you. But you have to trust me, it was, it was really cool. It was really cool. If you, any of you who have watched uh, breakdancing before, like live, not just on YouTube or on TV, but live, it was actually pretty cool. What these people could do, the flexibility and the, the ability. Man, if I would try that, man, they'd be scraping me off the stage with a spatula. You know, I, I would just, I'd, you know, I'd need, I'd need a lot of, I could do it. I could do it. I could, I, all I need is a couple of six packs and a lot of Advil. <laughs> I was telling Britt, I'm like, I could do that. I could do that. Give me a couple six packs. I could do that. <laughs> but they, they were really cool. But uh, anyways, Britt's at work here right now. I'm editing this. This is future Josh. As you can tell, my hair has grown out a bit. I need to uh, cut it. I guess I could just do the comb over here right now for you right now. Just for you. I'm being weird, I know. Uh, the lawnmower did a, a fantastic job. Look at this outside here. Guys, it's just me. 
I'm gonna go show everybody the lawn, okay? Everybody wants to see the lawn, because that's everybody's favorite thing. They want to see, Josh, I want to see your lawn. That's what they're asking me, okay? So stay here, it's just me. Freak out every time there's a noise. Stay. Stay, I'm just, I'll be right back. Jeez, guys. You going outside without me? You traitor. You traitor. Yeah, I'm going outside without you. So, uh, I finally got the entire yard mowed and a nice even cut. So the reason it was cutting uneven before, I don't know if I even explained this to you, but I did show you what was broken, right? Uh, one of those pieces was broken, so the blade was sitting in there crooked. That means when you mow across the lawn or this way, one side would cut lower than the other, and it was driving me nuts. Finally, I know there's a lot of grass shavings on there. I don't have a, I didn't have the bagger set up, but finally got everything cut. It felt great. Fantastic. And I know, you don't have to tell me. I, I know, Trucker Josh, you live the most exciting life. On the weekends, you fix lawn mowers and mow your lawn. I'm so glad I tuned into your vlog today, because it is the most exciting thing I have seen on the internet thus far. I know, you don't have to tell me. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm usually on the road trucking, but I have a life outside of trucking too, right? And... I try to make a video every single day. I don't always make a video when I'm at home, but uh, you know, this is this is the kind of thing I do on my off time when I'm not driving a truck. You know, being a truck driver is not all about you know holding the steering wheel going down the road. I also have a life behind the scenes. I have a life on the weekends here with my wife and my dogs, who are very jealous that I'm outside without them right now. So thanks for tuning in today. Anyways, it means a lot to me that you guys tune into these videos, even though they're not that exciting, and that you enjoy watching my life because you know it's just like yours mediocre <laughs> right <laughs> you're watching this guy on the internet and be like yeah that guy's that guy's life says about as exciting as mine honestly <laughs> i'll see you guys tomorrow uh tune in then and we'll talk to you later